So have I got an interesting video for you guys today? And no, it's not my studio build yet, but we're getting there. Trust me, we're getting there. It's just a few little things I need to, you know, iron out a little bit, but uh, we're gonna be talking about this thing right here for the A74 users, but not just for A74, A7S III, for the Alpha One, whatever Alpha camera you got, full cam, this most likely got you covered. So this is the full cam cage for the A7 IV, and I'm extremely excited because this is the new cage that I'm using now. I replaced my tilter cage. It was for the A7S III and adjusted it to make it fit the A7 IV. But finally, I've got a cage specifically designed for the Alpha 7 IV, and this is a really good one. And I'm gonna explain why, because uh, just a bit of a hint, one of the main things, is this Arca Swiss plate down the bottom. Let's get into it. It's going on, my friends. I hope you're all doing fantastic. My name is Jason. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. But today, we're going to get straight into it. We're going to be talking about this cage right here. This cage is by Full Cam. They are sort of affiliated with Ulanzi. I don't know how it works. Is Ulanzi the main company? Full Cam's like the sister company or the... the I don't know. It's by Full Cam slash Ulanzi. This is great because actually I've worked with Full Cam once before, a very, very, very long time ago with their quick release system, the F, I think it was the 38. That's the quick release system that I actually used. And this one actually accepts the new quick release system as well. It's called the F22, but not just the F22. The F38 is the older system. And you can actually utilize both systems with this thing. The great thing about this one for me is that it's is with my studio build out because I've got a camera stand on the right hand side. I've got a camera stand on my left hand side. So if I did want to change camera angles, depending on what I'm actually doing, my zoom calls is on the left hand side. Uh, my YouTube stuff's on the right hand side and in the center. But this is also Arca Swiss plate. And we all know how versatile Arca Swiss plate is because a lot of photography um, tripods have Arca Swiss uh, as standard or it's usually Manfrotto. It really depends on which one you actually choose. But Arca Swiss is my favorite. And there are so many cool features of this thing that I'm gonna be discussing in this video. Now, I think one of the biggest advantages about this whole cage system is the ecosystem. It has its own ecosystem, so you can utilize the side handle, the top handle. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of quick release systems in terms of the top handle itself, the side handle. Apologies for this uh, wind. It is extremely windy out here. Uh, we're pretty much on the ocean side, so um, <laughs> yeah, it's probably not sounding that great, but uh, if you did want to fully rig this thing out, you can, and it really depends, obviously, what kind of systems you actually use, but I'm going to show you guys what I actually use. There is so much versatility with this cage in comparison to some of the other cages that I've tried out before. This one, you can have a top handle, which is a NATO rail on the top, but also that F22 quick release system, which is really good. But you also have a quarter 20 and some locating pins at the top there as well. So that is really good depending on obviously uh, what top handle you actually have. You might be able to pair it with this one, which is really good. You've got a couple of cold shoe mounts on the right hand side and on the left hand side. More quarter 20 mounts on the right side, more quarter 20 mounts on the left side, which also have locating pins. And uh, this is great because you can actually utilize the side handle, the F22 side handle, which snaps on very, very easy. So I think one of the best things that I like about this cage right here is probably the size. It really hugs the A7 IV really well, and it's much thinner than my previous tilter cage. Now it does have a lot more versatility with a couple of cold shoes. It's got a few uh, NATO rails, and you can utilize the F22 and the F38 systems on here. But uh, it's really cool because I did have the F38 quick release system, and it works well with this which is great. So these do actually come very well packaged. You can see here, it actually comes in this nice little hard case, which also includes this thing and everyone needs one of these. It's pretty much just a tool that you can undo things and you can put it on your keys. It has a ring on both ends, which you can actually put it on your keys, have it on there, leave it on there, and uh, you pretty much got your keys with you all the time. So that is really good if you do leave a tool behind, you need to adjust things, tighten things, change things around. 
So good to have. Let's go inside. Ah, uh, so we literally just got home from the park, but uh, one of the cool things that I wanted to explain was this little grip here. Now, it's probably not meant to be a grip, but this is what I loved on the tilter cage, and this one has it also. It gives me a little bit of an area to just grab onto it. Specifically, if I don't have the top handle, if I don't have the side handle, I can just grip onto this and not, you know, fear of dropping it, which is really good, and I absolutely love the ergonomics of just how it's built. Now, going more on about ergonomics, this is probably one of the most interesting things and the base isn't just a standard base. They've thought this out quite well and I really like it because with most cameras you do have pretty much one quarter 20 mount on the bottom which you can attach a plate to and if you are sitting it flat on the surface it's gonna rock forwards, sides and backwards all those kind of things because you've got this one single plate there but they've designed this so it's not perfectly flat so you've got this part that's raised you've also got this battery compartment part that's raised so it's the same level as this bottom section and that is really exciting. It's such a small detail, but it's actually really exciting because your camera sits perfectly steady. And if you wanted to put this directly just on a table and start talking like this, you can without you know having to prop it up or put it on a tripod. And that could be quite crucial for some content creators who like to do this sort of vlogging style. Now there's one thing that's actually crucial for me and I know you guys probably won't actually find this very useful but I know a lot of people might actually and that is uh, we all know that long form content is here to stay and short form content is like the flavor of the day. And that wasn't meant to rhyme. 38 mount is on the left hand side and the right hand side, which means that we can mount this vertically. And that is really great. And you don't just have the ability to mount this with the F38 quick release system. It's the size of an Arca Swiss plate as well. So you can put this on any Arca Swiss tripod and not have to mount anything on the left hand side or the right hand side. That is really, really, really good. And I absolutely love how they've thought about that and thought about the future of uh, short form content and vertical content. Okay, now we've got to talk about this magic arm here. Now this is probably the best built magic arm I've ever used. And that is not an exaggeration. This is very, very well built. And one of the cool features that a lot of the good ones have is that when you tighten it up and it's, you know, kind of skew if a little bit, you can actually pull it out and adjust it so it's nice and straight or you're getting it out of the way of something which is really good and all of the good ones have this and obviously this is a good one so it has it. Now the good thing about the F22 top plate as well is that you can actually get one of these. This is a cold shoe mount at the bottom here so you can put this directly into here and attach it to a cold shoe or a hot shoe, it's up to you and just tighten it down and that that is really good, that's really good and you have a quick release system for this. And also this one right here. Now, every quick release system should have this, and that's the ability to screw in uh, locating pins on either side of that quarter 20 mount. Now, cameras should have this at the bottom of the camera. I know a lot of professional cameras have like a quarter 20 and a 3 8 mount at the bottom. So if you do mount that camera on some sort of professional rig, it's not gonna swivel around. Locating pins will actually stop things from swiveling around. So if you do have this on the side of your camera and a monitor on there, it's not gonna swivel around. And it's just so annoying when things swivel around. You can have this on a side of a gimbal. You can also attach this NATO rail right here onto the side of the gimbal, NATO rail on the side of your camera cage, on whatever. There's just so much versatility in all this full cam gear, and if you have the whole ecosystem, it's limitless. It is so good. Now the full cam cage is here to stay. This one is a phenomenal one for my a7 IV, and I'm so glad that I actually have one custom built for the a7 IV. It's not custom built, it's actually just built for the a7 IV. It's not custom designed in any way. Delete that last part. I'm gonna keep that last part in. But uh, it's just really well built and it fits perfectly with the a7 IV. And yeah, highly recommended from me. The link will be in the description below if you do wanna check this one out. And all the other bits and pieces, top handle, side handle, uh, magic arms, other quick release systems for the full cam F22. But other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It'd be absolutely amazing. Check out these videos if you'd like to because uh, 
I like them and it helps support my channel out. And if you do want to help support my channel, you can also uh, check out my LUT, which this whole video is graded with the FX3 and my LUT and all the other B-roll stuff. So uh, yeah, check out these videos, check them out LUT in the description. See you in the next one. Let's get it.